Today we're going to be learning how to find relationships between sides and angles in a triangle. First thing that we have to start with is how we are going to name angles and name sides. So for naming angles, you're going to name them using three letters. Three letters. The letter of the angle being named goes in the middle. So for example, we have an angle here. There are three letters. The one that's in the middle is the angle that you're trying to name. So we would call this angle A, B, C. So A, B, C. Whatever uh, letter is on the point of the angle goes in the middle. You could also name it C, B, A. As long as you always keep the one that's on the point right in the middle. So those two mean the same thing. A, B, C, C, B, A. Exact same. Now we'll go over to the naming of sides. To name a side of a figure, you're going to use two letters. The letters on either end of the side give the name. So here we have a little rectangle. We have sides A, B, B, C, C, D, and D, A. Now you could also name them the other way around. For example, side AB could also be named BA, or DA could also be named AD. It doesn't matter the order of the letters, just as long as you have the two letters that are referring to that side. So it's the letters that are on the corners that the side goes between. So that's how we name angles and name sides. Now this is important because when we are talking about the angles and the sides in a triangle, we have to make sure we're naming them properly. So now we're going to move on to what the relationships between the angles and the sides in a triangle are. All right. So in a triangle, the longest side is across from the largest angle. The shortest side is across from the smallest angle. The medium side is across from the medium angle. If you think about it, it's kind of like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Okay? Papa Bear, he gets the biggest. Mama Bear, she gets the medium. Baby Bear, he gets the smallest. So it's the same thing with the angles and the sides in the triangle. Longest side, largest angle. Shortest side, across from the smallest angle. Medium side is across from the medium angle. Now when I say across, I mean directly on the opposite side of the triangle. So for example here we have triangle ABC and we have our three angles. Angle BAC is 90 degrees. Angle ABC is 60 degrees. And angle BCA is 30 degrees. We want to find the longest side, the shortest side, and the medium side. So we look. The 90 degree angle, that is pointing directly across to the opposite side here. So the side across from this angle is side BC. Okay, you can see that directly across this triangle, that is our longest side. So you find your largest angle, look directly across it, that's your longest side. So our longest side is BC. Then we're going to look for our shortest side. To find our shortest side, we're going to look at our smallest angle. So our smallest angle is this 30 degree one, angle A, C, B, because C is in the middle. Okay, we look from the 30 degree, draw a straight line. What side do you run into? You run into side B, A. So our shortest side is B, A, because it's directly across from our smallest angle. And now our medium side is the only one left over. We look from our medium angle, which is the 60 degrees. 
draw directly across, what does it point at? Side A, C. So our medium side is A, C. So that's the basics of it. You just look at your angle and go directly across that triangle. You can even draw the lines to help you. Okay, now we're going to come over here and we're going to actually apply it. So our first example, they want us to order the sides from least to greatest. And make sure that you're writing all of the previous information down and all of your examples down and all of the naming stuff. All of that should be in your notes. So example one, order the sides from least to greatest. So we want to go from the smallest side up to the biggest side. So if we want the smallest one, I'm going to look for the smallest angle first. My smallest angle is 41. And let's make sure we name our triangle here. That would be good. We're going to call this X, Y, Z. Okay. So our smallest angle is 41 degrees. We're going to draw a line straight across. What side does it point at? Points at side X, Y. So X, Y is our smallest side. Now we will look for our medium angle. Our medium angle is 66. We're going to draw a line directly across from it. What side does it point at? X, Z. So our medium side is X, Z. Now we look at our largest angle. Our largest angle is 73 degrees. So we go directly across. What side is this? It goes between Y and Z. So our longest side is Y, Z. All right, if you are drawing these arrows, it's really going to help you to keep track of which side you're talking about. Okay, example two, we have to order the angles from least to greatest. So we talked about the sides being across from the angles. Well, it also works the other way around. You can look at your sides and work backwards. So we have to go from least to greatest. I'm going to find my smallest side first because I know that's going to be directly across from my smallest angle. So here I have 12, 7, and 6. My smallest side is 6. So I'm going to go from this side, draw a line directly across. Right here I'm pointing at this angle. Now in order to name the angle, I have to find the three letters. I know that I'm looking at angle R here, so I know that letter is going to be in the middle. So I will say it's angle SRT. That's my smallest angle because it's directly across from my smallest side. So angle SRT. Now I'm going to go to my medium side because we're having to go from small to big. And I have between 7 and 12. My medium side is 7. So I'm going to look, and this one's a little bit tricky, okay? But you can tell we have a small angle and a big angle. We know that of the two, it's going to be going to the smaller angle. So here, directly to that angle. What letter's in the middle? T. So when I name this, the T has to be in the middle. I will call it S-T-R. That's my medium angle. Now, the last angle, our largest one. We look, our longest side, directly across. Our largest angle is going to be this angle S here. And again, the S needs to be in the middle, so RST. That will be my largest angle. Now we have our angles in order from least to greatest. Our final example, it says a triangle has sides of 7, 9, and 18. Use the angles shown to match the side lengths. So they've given us the angles and we have to use what we know in order to put the 7, the 9, and the 18 on the correct side here. 
going to start with my largest, my longest side. I know that that's going to be directly across from my largest angle. So I've got a 92, a 54, and a 34. Well, 92 is the biggest one. I take a straight arrow from that side across. I can see that this side is what it's pointing to. So I know that this side over here is going to be my 18. Now I look at the medium angle. My medium angle is the 54 degree. I can see that as this angle opens up, it creates this side down on the bottom. So I know that the side on the bottom, I'm going to have to write it over here, has got to be the medium length one, and that's the nine. So along the bottom, this length is nine. And then, of course, I only have one left but we'll do it with the angles. Here, the 34, if we draw a line straight across, it makes this side. So the smallest side that I have is seven, and that's gonna be this upright part here. So all of these examples should give you a pretty good idea about how the sides and the angles are related in a relationship, and we'll do a couple more problems in class so we can make sure we're really familiar with it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.